Hello and good evening everyone. I'm Melissa Wilson from Fox 26 News and your MC for the night. Welcome to the 2021 Heart of Houston campaign from the comforts of my home to yours. We're really glad you're with us this evening. Doesn't it just seem like yesterday that Lisa and Jerry Simon were toasting us in the ballroom? We want to thank them for being our Heart of Houston campaign chairs. Hi Lisa and Jerry. Hi Melissa. <laughs> And hello to everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and welcome to our home. The mission of the American Heart Association hits close to home for Jerry and me. We both have heart disease in our family and lost loved ones way too soon. You just heard Melissa call tonight the heart of Houston and you might be wondering what happened to the heart ball? Jerry, mm -hmm. do you want to tell our friends? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we have known about the Heart Association and the good work they do for many years. In 2019, Lisa and I were complimented to be asked to chair the 2021 Heart Ball, which historically has been the largest fundraiser for the Heart Association in Houston. And the best gala in the city. Some might say on the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We are all painfully aware of what happened a year ago next month. COVID-19 has literally changed all of our lives. We immediately realized we could not get seven or 800 people into a ballroom as we have done in the past. And we were anxious to start doing something immediately to help those in our community that were now more at risk of heart disease and serious complications because of the pandemic. We reimagined the ball from the long-standing annual Heart Ball to a year-round campaign called the Heart of Houston. Our overriding goal was, and is, to make a difference in the lives of those most at risk that have the greatest needs. We also saw this campaign as an ongoing effort to raise awareness and dollars mm. to fund the mission of the Heart Association, which is to be a relentless force mm for a world of longer and healthier lives. Interestingly, the American Heart Association liked our concept so much, they rebranded the more than 100 heart balls across the country to be the heart of Washington, the heart of Atlanta, Chicago, et cetera. Once again, Houston and Texas leads the way for the rest of the country. Do we miss the fun and fellowship of seeing our friends at the heart ball? Absolutely. <laughs> However, we all have much to celebrate and each of you should be so proud of everything that has been accomplished to help our city for such a time as this. Before we kick things off, let me take this opportunity to personally thank our executive leadership team of volunteers who have joined us in raising up this incredibly important work. They're listed on the screen now. Like the lyrics to the song you're about to hear, Tonight's event urges us all to make an impact in the lives of others. Find your individual inspiration and in holding it close in your hearts. So here to perform the prayer, please welcome a contemporary classical vocal group that has toured the nation with performances in Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., and even Carnegie Hall in New York City. The five a cappella singers and recording artists actually live in three different states. <laughs> but they come together beautifully tonight for this special evening. Please enjoy Andrew, James, Jordan, Scott, and Jeff, the group Veritas. to a place guide 
Elevate us with your grace To a place where we'll be safe La luce che tu da And hold it in our hearts. Ricordarci che stars go out each night. Eterna stella se. What a beautiful way to start the evening. Thank you, Veritas, and thank you, Lisa and Jerry. You are right. We have so many accomplishments to be thankful for because of all of our sponsors and our donors who make such a difference for this organization. In fact, I want to give them a shout out, including premier local sponsor BP and our platinum sponsors Bank of Texas and Northern Trust and Lisa and Jerry Simon. We also want to thank the Houston Board of Directors and all of our longtime supporters and sponsors. We are honored to have you with us this evening. Okay, let's get back now to Lisa and Jerry and see what they're up to at their house. Hey, thanks, Melissa. I can't believe it. My friend and Houston Board of Directors Chairman, Jack Moore, just stopped by. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jerry. Thanks for having me. As you see, we're safely sitting outside, things we didn't have to even worry about a year ago. So many things have changed in the past year, that's for sure. But one thing has remained constant, the passion and relentless work of the American Heart Association right here in Houston. In Houston alone, the AHA has impacted close to one and a half million patients through their long-term partnerships with local clinics 
to improve hypertension. These trusted neighborhood clinics connect us with community partners and residents to provide much needed resources. A few other ways the American Heart Association showed up during the pandemic, the advocacy team worked locally to support more than seven million in federal funding for communities to access Wi-Fi and food distribution locations. They provided farm fresh boxes with AHA nutrition education in partnership with local Texas farmers and distributed important health information on wearing masks and heart health all across Houston. They also continued their work in the mayor's complete communities to address health disparities. Jack, I'm, I'm really impressed that the Blue Jays and the Owl and the Peacocks didn't throw you off. <laughs> off. We are literally the Peacocks in the- Peacocks were raising beds. <laughs> they, they were literally in the great outdoors. Uh, all kidding aside, that's just the tip of the iceberg. We have all witnessed the destruction of the virus this year and watched it indiscriminately impact literally all people, regardless of race, religion, age, and gender. Our top priority is the health and well-being of everyone. No matter who you are or where you are, the American Heart Association is present with boots on the ground to help our friends, family, and our community live longer and healthier lives. And tonight we need your help. On your screen now and throughout the program, you'll see a prompt where you can donate and participate in the silent and live auctions. And don't forget, we're blessed to have the world's greatest cellist, Yo-Yo Ma, uh, with a special performance for us in just a little while. So hang in there, don't change your channel. It's gonna be worth the wait. But first, let's take a look at some of the work that the Heart Association has been doing in Houston since we were together last February. This is news breaking from the American Heart Association. We are announcing it for the first time right here. We're back now with a new warning today from the American Heart Association. De los Estados Unidos, la doctora Regina Benjamin, miembro directivo del American Heart Association. Case studies indicating COVID may lead to heart attacks. Joining me right now is Dr. Mitchell Elkin. He's president of the American Heart Association. Tonight, the American Heart Association sounding the alarm. A new report from the American Heart Association. Heart disease, the number one killer of men and women here in the U.S. and worldwide. So when the American Heart Association puts out a scientific statement, people tend to pay attention. Ahora, Pedro, ¿cómo podemos motivar a las mujeres latinas, a nuestras mamás, para que se cuiden el corazón? The American Heart Association, in conjunction with United Airlines, installed it today as part of their initiative to get more people trained to save a life. And in an airport, that's very important. I love the American Heart Association. They step up in real time to address a need. The American Heart Association works closely with our local partners to address the most urgent needs as it relates to heart health. You will find us in Greater Houston neighborhoods partnering with faith-based networks, community clinics, citywide coalitions, and school districts to build healthier communities where people eat, work, play, and pray. Thanks to people like you and your support, we've been able to continue our work during this unprecedented time. Hello, I'm Mayor Sylvester Turner. We all know the importance of heart health and during the COVID-19 pandemic, we know there's a strain on people's heart health. That is why the American Heart Association's work with the Complete Communities Initiative is vital. They are fully integrated and working alongside the community partners to bring their science-based accredited work to our neighbors. The American Heart Association aims to be part of the solution by connecting food insecure families with quality, nutrient, dense produce through a partnership with the common market. The common market sources the produce for Texas farm fresh boxes, boxes with five to seven different varieties of fruits and vegetables from small local family farms. Collaborating with various community clinical and faith-based partners like Baker Ripley and Legacy Community Health, the American Heart Association has coordinated the distribution of hundreds of Texas farm fresh boxes since May. This initiative leverages the power of our local food system to transform communities by improving food access, farm viability, and ecological health. Our city is hurting 
and our neighbors need us more than ever. I am thankful to the American Heart Association for stepping up during this critical time to help improve the overall health of our city. Wow, even in that short video, you can see the impact that you, the American Heart Association supporters, have had on the city of Houston. Please consider supporting that great work right now by donating, by using the prompt on your screen. Right now, I want to send it back over to the Simons because I understand we have a special announcement from Chairman Jack Moore. Hi, Jack. Thank you, Melissa. I have the great pleasure of introducing this year's incredible honorees, the Allen family. Skip, Shirley, and their daughter Kathleen have generously invested in the American Heart Association for over 20 years and truly exemplify the relentless spirit of the mission. They deeply believe that together we can transform the communities in which we live, work, and play. Their passion for creating change in our communities, advancing research, making heart health a reality for all is inspiring. We are grateful for their leadership, their generosity, and tonight, we are thrilled to honor the Allen family. We have a few friends that would also like to share some memories of the Allens with us. But before we do that, I just wanna personally thank Skip and Shirley for just stepping up and being leaders for something we all feel so passionate about, and that's the American Heart Association. You have inspired us all to give and to participate with our hearts and with our actions. Thank you very much. Nancy Brown, Chief Executive Officer of the American Heart Association. I am so honored this evening to recognize three dear friends. For those of you who know Shirley Skip and Kathleen Allen, you know that they are loyal friends, passionate advocates, and always open to learning more about ways they can support our most vulnerable communities. Through Skip's leadership on the local Houston and Southwest Regional Boards, as well as the Allen family's local support, thousands of Houstonians are better managing their life-threatening blood pressure. Thousands more are gaining access to healthy foods through farmer's markets, mobile markets, and SNAP benefits. The Allens have truly embodied our mission to be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. I'm so grateful to acknowledge my friends this evening as honorees of this year's Heart of Houston campaign. Congratulations and thank you, Skip, Shirley, and Kathleen for transforming people's lives as champions for equitable health and well-being for all. Skip and I go back a long way, all the way back to 2003 and 2004. At the time, I was the board chair of the Houston division and Skip was playing a leadership role across a broad number of areas. And so we were really sad when he announced that he and Shirley were relocating to Paris. Um, however, um, we were delighted when he and Shirley returned to, uh, to Houston. And I take some pride in the fact that I was able to help their reintroduction um, to the American Heart Association. The Allen family represents the superior volunteers of the American Heart Association that with vision and determination are truly outstanding supporters of the mission of the AHA. I have known the Allens for years and continue to be grateful for their passionate commitment to the work of the AHA. The Allens' willingness to fund our initial steps with my research legacy were visionary. Talk about groundbreakers. That's the Allens. You know, the incredible thing about the Allens is that they neither um, seek nor need recognition for their incredible generosity. And in fact, we call them quiet philanthropists. Thank you and congratulations to the Allen family. Thank you, Skip, Shirley, and Kathleen for providing the impetus for this important work and for your continued support of the American Heart Association. Skip and Shirley, thank you for everything you do, have done, and will continue to do for the American Heart Association. And I consider it a real honor to be your colleague and friend. I have the great privilege of working alongside Skip, who is our current chairman of the board for the Southwest region. 
Skip is someone who leads by example and his passionate commitment inspires others to get involved. Skip, thank you so much for all that you do. And on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Southwest Region, we appreciate you and thank you so much. Hi, Mom and Dad. Surprise! I wanted to take a moment to say thank you for introducing me to the world of philanthropy and showing me what it means to give back to communities. I had an incredible time attending scientific sessions with you both and love learning more about the AHA's work. I wish I could be with you both in person tonight. Thank you for everything that you do for me and for the AHA. You generally give true meaning to the song, We Can Be Kind. Sending you all my love. And another big thank you to the Allens. Thank you so much for your continued support. You have no idea what it means to us. Thank you. Also, another thank you to the Hilton. That's where we're coming to you live from right now. Thank you so much to them. And we can't wait to see everybody again, hopefully next year, right back here in the Hilton. Thanks, everybody, for being here tonight. We so appreciate you spending your time with us. We have four really cool live auction items and an opportunity to change lives, right? To make an impact much greater than us. As we get going through this, you know it's obviously all virtual. If you have a question or a problem, you'll see in the top right of your screen, there's a little thing that looks like the text message logo. Just click that, we have people manning that. You can chat in, they'll answer any question that you have about the process or, or the procedure that's going on right now. Be ready to spend lots of money, have lots of fun, ladies and gentlemen. Remember what we're doing here tonight, right? Be proud to overpay. Be proud to tell everybody you got a terrible deal on this thing, but you helped out the American Heart Association, right? Remember what we're doing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have four amazing live auction items. And the first one is truly, really a cool opportunity. As we go throughout, the, if you'll click on the top right of your screen, you see all the items as you click on them, that will come up in a, in a more full detail, giving the who, what, where, when, the fine print, all that stuff. And we'll tell you everything we know about it. Let's get going, ladies and gentlemen. Our first live auction item of the evening is the Berg Hospitality Truck. Take a look at this. This is a really cool opportunity to have an at-home catering party for up to 20 people inside your COVID bubble. Make sure it's safe. You can be outside. You can be space. And you get a really cool opportunity to customize the menu from five of the Berg Hospitality restaurants. Those five are the Annie, Turner's, B&B Butcher's, BB Lemon, and BB Italia. You can pick and choose from each of those menus, create such a fun, eclectic, weird, thematic night for your 20 friends, up to 20 friends, and truly help the American Heart Association. Let's get going, ladies and gentlemen. The bids are already coming in. I've got 800, oh, there we are. We got $1,100, gotta be 1200 bucks, ladies. Go ahead and stop on in, $1,300, guys, where are you at? Who wants to support the American Heart Association? Thank you so much. I have John and Chris Hantack in at $1,200. Come on back. Oh, we got new bidders in. Got to be $1,400, gang. Let's keep this rolling. My goodness, what an amazing crowd. What a fun opportunity. We got Nancy Ames. Oh, there we go. Amanda McMillan strikes again at $1,700. Who's it gonna be? Who wants to support the American Heart Association? Who is gonna leave the opportunity tonight to not only give a lot of money, but to have a lot of fun on the other end, right? I have $2,000 is what you gotta be. You got Ann Neeson in at 1,900. Suzanne at two grand. Oh, the bidding is hot. The bidding is hot, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to click right there. Just click, 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 keep kicking. It's, it's so easy. It's, it, it, you don't have to worry about it. Just click. And it's so easy to bid. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. I have $2,100 bid right now. Does anybody want to be $2,200? $2,200 right now is what it takes. Here we go. At $2,200, what's 22? Oh, and there we go. An anonymous bidder. Thank you so much, anonymous. Oh, oh. Strikes again. Lacey and Matt says, we're going to have this pug truck party. Anonymous, what do you say to that? If you want back in, you got to be $2,400. Only, only. What an opportunity at $2,400. Who would have thought when you woke up today, you'd had this opportunity, right? $2,400 to support the American Heart Association and have a truly memorable, fun, unique night 
And you get to tell all those other 20 folks where, what this did. All that money that you gave, that you supported the American Heart and its initiatives. At $2,400 once, $2,400 twice. Oh, John, thank you so much, Mr. Horton. I appreciate that. Who's it going to be now? 20, oh, Lacey and Matt. They say, uh-uh. They, they keep taking the body blows. They keep coming back. Who's in? Oh, Amanda McMillan. Thank you, John Horton. Oh, we've got, it looks like we've got a three horse race here. Let's keep on going, ladies and gentlemen. What a fun night that you can have with up to 20 folks, safely social distance, create a truly eclectic, truly unique, never be assembled before, never be assembled again menu and give money to the American Heart Association, right? All cool things. Let's keep on going. Oh, Curtis Hansen is in the lead. Thank you so much, Mr. Hansen. Oh, John Horton strikes again. The Horton clan. Now, if you know them, he, they already said, the Horton said, y'all aren't coming if you don't buy it. You got to get in there. Oh, anonymous at $3,000. Who's it going to be? $3,100. do not miss it for 100 bucks. What's $100 at this point, right? It's not the last $100 that's so painful. It's that first three grand, right? $3,200, $3,300. Thank you so much. Molly McBurney. Thank you to the McBurney family. Very much appreciate that. What a cool night. Have your employees, have your friends, have your neighbors. You, need, you can have your freeloading friends over. They'll love it. Who else? At $3,400. We got to go, ladies and gentlemen. $3,400 once. $3,400 twice. Oh, John Horton back again. He says, this is mine. I'm not letting you have it. Who at 35, 3,600, $3,600, $3,600. $3, $3, Let's keep on rolling, ladies and gentlemen. $3,600 once, $3,600. Oh, Lacey and Matt, the goose and fam. Oh, and then there's Mr. Horton again. You know the game. You know the game. We'll stay here all night. Let's keep going, ladies and gentlemen. Who's in? Going to be 3,800 bucks. On oh, the McBurnings, the McBurney family's back in it. Thank you so much, Miss Molly McBurney. Very much appreciate that. $3,900. Who's it going to be? I have 3,800 bid asking $3,900. New country, Stephen Trauber. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you so much. Oh, and then John came back in at four grand. He said, guys, I'm having this dinner. What's your answer to that, ladies and gentlemen? Who else? $4,100. We got to keep on moving. $4,100 once. $4,100 twice, $4,100 third, and oh, there it is. Trauber back in, the Traubers, and then there's Molly McBurney. Thank you. And Lacey and Matt Goosen. My goodness, what an amazing, generous crowd you are. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you so much for your support. You know not what this impact does. Who else? At $4,400, before we close this item out, $4,500. $4,500. Just do it by the head. Sell tickets to this thing. You might be able to make money. Who knows? $4,500. Who's in? $4,500 once. $4,500 twice. $4,500 third and final call. Here we go. And that item is sold at $4,400. Thank you so much, John Horton et al. And everybody that was in the race, you're such an amazing crowd. Thank you for supporting us in that effort. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Okay, our next one truly might be one that will never be assembled again. No joke. Look at this. If you'll click on the item, it'll give you the full details, tell you everything about this. We have a case of wine, which is 12 bottles. Every single bottle is a 100-point wine. So if you're new to the wine scene, you got to have this. If you've been around the wine scene for forever, you got to have this. This is such a unique opportunity that Russ Labraska, April and Jorge Salazar, Danny Ward, the wine committee is serious. This is an amazing opportunity for everybody. Each one of these bottles came from Houston uh, area sellers, wine sellers. So what a cool thing. What a cool story. Look at this. Just to highlight some of these. A 1990 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. A 2016 Harlan Estate Napa Valley Red. A 2016 Dominus Napa Valley Estate. Look at that list. If you'll click in your top right of your screen where it says view full details, it'll tell you every one. But it's 12 bottles. Each one of them is a 100-point wine. You will be the talk of the town. They'll last for years to come. What an opportunity. I've got $3,500. You got to be four. I got four grand. Got to be $4,500. This is a truly one-of-a-kind opportunity. Thank you so much to the wine committee for putting this together. A an incredibly unique opportunity here. Who's it going to be at $4,500? I'm telling you, you will like this a lot more than you like your money. And remember, 
where the money's heading, right? Remember what we're doing here tonight. Thank you so much for your support. You're going to be $4,500. We just sold a food truck for four grand. Guys, you keep this for the next 20 years. $4,500. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Now five grand. Who's going to be at $5,000 right now? Nice round number. 12 bottles that are all 100 point wines. Anybody you have over will be impressed by this. So like we said, if you're new to the wine scene, old to the wine scene, what an amazing opportunity to add to or start your collection with. And a, a, a 12 bottles that will never be assembled together again. I've got $4,500. You gotta be 5,000 bucks, 5,000, thank you. And now 5,500, thank you so much, Amanda McMillan. I appreciate that and family. I'm sure there will be lots of laughs and lots of joy around those 12 bottles. Oh, 5,500, Teresa and Jose Ivo, I believe. Thank you so much. Or Evo, perhaps. Evo, thank you so much. It's going to be $6,000 now. $6,000. Who's it going to be? Hey, Amanda. No, I mean, no pressure. But now that I see your name, what about six grand? Who's in at $6,000? Remember, all this money is going to the American Heart Association, right? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks, everybody, for being such good sports. It's going to be $6,000 on these 100-point wines, 12 of them. Never before assembled. Click that view, that view full details button. Check out everything that's in there. These are truly some jaw-dropping bottles. Who else is in? You're going to be $6,000. That's all we're going to do, gang. $6,000 once. $6,000 twice. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Amanda said, uh-uh. I'm going to drink all 12 of them next week. I think that's what she said. Maybe I misunderstood. I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, Amanda, for your support. Very much appreciated. 6,500. Who's it going to be? Truly, what a fun time you can have for years to come. And every one of your friends say, where did you get a bottle like this? You say, the American Heart Association. I had an opportunity. Remember when we did that virtual event? That's where I got it. That's what's the cool opportunity you have here. $6,500. We got to go, ladies and gentlemen. $6,500 once. $6,500 twice. $6,500 third and final call. Here we go. And I have, oh, the Evos are back in. Teresa and Jose just snuck right there at the end. I understand. That's how you do it. Who else? Come on, Amanda. You've owned it longer than anybody. What's $500, right? I mean, it's between friends. Here we go. At 6,500 is what I have. You got to be 7,000 bucks. Nice round, even number, $7,000. What do you say? Who's going to be at 7,000? The McMillan family. Amanda, no pressure. $7,000. What do you think? $7,000 once. Thank you very much for being a good sport, Amanda. I very much appreciate it. $7,000 twice. $7,000 third and final call. Oh, there she is. There she is. She said, uh uh, these are mine. Teresa and Jose, what say ye to this response here? $7,500, $7,500. It's so easy. You just, you just tap it. You just give it, just give it a tap. $7,500. You'll charge your credit card. You don't have to worry about it till the first of the month. What a deal. You get 12 bottles of 100 point wines. Truly. I mean, 90 point bottles are delicious. Can you imagine 12, hundred? Look at that list, ladies and gentlemen, $7,500. We got to keep moving. $7,500 once. 70, oh, new country, Balovic, Balovic, thank you so much to the Balovic family, David right there, he he finally, he, did you spend time Googling all those bottles, he just now got back, thank you so much for being here, very much appreciated, okay, $8,000 is what it takes now, $8,000, we got to keep this train moving, ladies and gentlemen, $8,000 once, $8,000 twice, $8,000 third and final call, here we go, Amanda, I'll give you just another count to three before we close it out. And I have sold it at $7,500. Thank you so much to the Balovic family. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I know you'll have that, those 12 bottles around for years to come, and your family and friends will have lots of joy and laughs around that. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, our third live auction item of the evening is truly a really cool opportunity to get off the concrete and asphalt that we call Houston and head out to Sea Below Creek Ranch in Marfa for two nights to where you can truly see how big the stars are at night and they're big and bright out there in Marfa, Texas. So what this is, is a private jet for two couples. It's a Citation uh, CJ1. So four people, two couples, you fly from Houston to Marfa, 
You land at Cibolo Creek Ranch's private runway. You have 30,000 acres to explore over two days, and there's all kinds of activities galore, just truly almost anything you can imagine. And you get to see stars, right? We forget that stars exist living in this little town that we call Houston. Now, if you don't know much about Marfa, it's West Texas. To get there commercially, you got to fly to Midland, drive three or four hours. Here, you can fly directly. You land on the property. Truly a VIP experience. Thank you so much to the donors of the airplane, as well as Cibolo Creek Ranch uh, opportunity. Our opportunity to show an appreciation to them and the American Heart Association and have an amazing few days, right? All cool things. Let's get going. I got 6,500. You got to be seven grand. I mean, for the people that got the planes out there, what's it cost to fly to Marfa and back, right? We already got a deal here. You got to be $7,000, excuse me. There you are. Now 7,500. Mark Helm is in the lead at $7,000. I see that Nancy Ames and Danny Ward just got knocked out. Teresa and Jose Evo, 7,500. They, they didn't spend the money on the on the wine. They need to go on a trip now. Maybe Teresa's upset with Jose for not buying the wine. Thank you so much, Teresa and Jose Evo. Very much appreciate your support. They're at 7,500. You got to be eight grand. This is truly an opportunity. This is actually an incredible deal when you think about what actual plane costs to fly to Marfa and back. And not only does all this money go to supporting the American Heart Association, you get a wonderful few days out in Bewley of Texas, right? I got 8,000, gonna be 8,500. I got 8,000 bid to with Mark Helm, 8,500 to the Evo family. If you wanna hop back in or anybody, you're one click away perhaps from going to Marfa in a private plane, two couples or four people, truly an experience that you will not forget. And the whole time you're there, you can think that this money that you're giving right now went to change lives what to create better opportunities, right? For people today that might not have had that opportunity without you hopping in. Peter Fleur, thank you so much at 8,500. Gonna be $9,000 in the way of a meal. Who's back in? Nine grand, what do you say guys? Truly, like we talked about, not even with the ranch, a 30,000 acre ranch that has anything you can imagine, but the plane, right? The plane ride. Look at everything that's involved here. 8,500's bid. You're going to be $9,000. $9,000. What do you say? I got Peter Fleur at 8,500. Mark Helm, what do you say? Evo Clan. What about Danny Ward and Nancy Eames? Ryan Pryor, Debbie and Jack Moore. Shout outs. Anybody want to be $9,000 right now? There they are. Uh, Debbie and Jack Moore at nine grand. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. You got to be 9,500. Teresa and Jose Evo, strike again. Thank you so so much for being here and your generosity. Peter Fleur says, I'm in at 10 grand. You're going to be 10, five, 10, five. What a cool opportunity to have a few fun days and you can even sing. See, we didn't get to go to a baseball game this last year, right? So we can go sing the song. The stars at night are big and bright, right? We can all go do that and actually look at some stars. Who's in at 10, five? $10,500. Who's it going to be right now? We got to go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to belabor the point, but remember what we're doing here tonight, right? $10,500 once. Oh, there we go. Debbie and Jack Moore strike again. Thank you so much. Got to be $11,000. Just give it a little tap. Give it a little tap. 11 grand. What do you say? $11,000. I got 10 five with Debbie and Jack Moore. Peter Fleur at 11,000. Thank you so much to the Fleur family opportunity on that citation cj1 going out to marfa for a few days enjoying the beauty that texas has to offer and supporting the american heart association all cool things asking 11.5 oh there they are debbie and jack moore at 11.5 gonna be 12 grand now twelve thousand dollars what do you say twelve thousand twelve thousand opportunity of a lifetime perhaps fly right in land on that private runway feel like the king or queen of Marfa for a few days. Who else at $12,000? We got to go, ladies and gentlemen. $12,000 once, $12,000 twice. There they are. Peter Fleur back in at 12 grand. Going to be 12.5. Debbie and Jack. Jack, do you love Debbie? What do you say? Oh, he, he does. He does love Debbie. 12.5, got to be 13,000. Thank you, everybody. Realize I'll say anything to get a bid. I appreciate everybody for being such good sports, being so generous, so accommodative tonight. We got 12.5 with Debbie and Jack Moore. Peter, what do you say? You got to be 13 grand. Private plane, two days in Marfa, American Heart Association. What else could you want? 13,000 once, 
got to go. $13,000 twice, $13,000 third, and final call. I'll say the S word. I'm about to. There he is. Peter strikes again at 13,000. Get to be 13.5. I understand with, you know, everybody's internet speeds are a little bit different. I get that. Just giving everybody time to bid some more money. Who's in at 13.5? I've got Peter at 13 grand. Do the more clan. Would y'all like to hop back in at 13.5? You can split this with another couple. What a cool deal. I got 13,000. Get to be 13.5. We're going to speed this up a little bit because we got to go. 13.5 once. Oh, there they are. Debbie and Jack Moore strike again. Peter, I'm going to come back to you, brother. I got to keep moving. We got lots of cool stuff to do the rest of the night, and Yo-Yo's waiting on us. $14,000 once, $14,000 twice, $14,000 third, and final call. Here we go. And I have sold it. That item is closed at $13,500. Thank you to Peter Floor, the backup bidder. And thank you very much to Debbie and Jack Moore. My goodness, your generosity is so much appreciated supporting the American Heart Association. Enjoy a few days off the pavement and think about all the good that you just did. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, our last live auction item of the evening is a wine pairing dinner at Kieran's. Again, if you'll click up there, it has the menu and everything involved. But listen up. This is super cool that, again, I don't think will happen again. Let me tell you about this. Dr. Ravana, Chef Kieran, and Mr. Moody have joined together to produce a fabulous, mouth-watering, jaw-dropping five-course dinner for 10 guests in Kieran's private room. And now understand, Dr. Ravana, Chef Kieran, and Mr. Moody are all going to be joining you for dinner. So what an opportunity to rub shoulders with them, swap stories, a truly ecclesiastical evening, perhaps. Now, if you don't know, Chef Kieran Verna of Kieran's is considered the godmother of fine Indian dining. Truly a cool opportunity to have some unique food that is delicious, but it gets better. If you know Dr. Ravana, you know of the great wineries that Dr. Ravana owns over the entire world. Uh, truly, there might be the only individual proprietor in the entire world who owns winery in multiple states and multiple countries. Now, understand what's going on here. Every single winery that he has around the world will be represented at this dinner and paired perfectly with each of the five courses. So truly, if you're into wine, awesome. If you're into good Indian food, awesome. If you're into good helping out the American Heart Association, even better. What a cool deal right here with Dr. Ravana, Chef Kieran, Mr. Moody, and the wine pairings from all over the world. So cool. Yeah, I got 3,500. You got to be 3,600 bucks. Thank you so much to Michael and Carol Lynn at 3,500. Dan Milwitt is the backup bidder right now. Thank you to Nancy Ames and Danny Ward. Kathy and Marty Goosen hopped in at 3,600. This is up for 10 people. And Amanda McMillan, Nancy Ames, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, with Danny Ward, I really much appreciate it. They're at 3,900 to get to be four grand. Look at the night that this will be. Truly one for the ages, one you will remember for all time, not only because of the amazing food, not only because of the opportunity to hang out with these people, not only because of the wine pairings and such unique stories and how this all came together, but you also get to impact lives, right? That's what this is all about. Thank you so much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Who's it going to be at $4,000? Right now, I got Kathy and Marty Goosen in the lead. Nancy Ames and Danny Ward are, are, are backing them up. Who's it? Oh, Amanda McMillan strikes at 4,000. Who's it going to be? 4,100 bucks. 4,100. We're, we're talking parking at this point, right? 4,100. Now 4,200. Nancy Ames and Danny Ward are back in. Let's lessen a tip, right? 4,200. 4,200, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much to the donors for assembling this. What a cool deal they've offered us here, right? That truly, I mean, will not happen again. This is such a unique opportunity. Nancy Ames and Danny Ward are in the lead right now for a one-of-a-kind evening. And this is our last live auction item this year, guys. So if you want an alibi, if you want to say, I bought one, this is the one you got to buy. I got $4,100. You get to be $4,200. $4,200. Got to go. $4,200 once. $4,200 twice. $4,200 third. Oh, Stephen Trauber, thank you so much. At $4,200, you got to be $4,300. Don't knock them out for $100. Come on. Get back in there. What's that? Divided by 10 people, right? 
Come on. Let's go. Who's in? 4,300. Nancy and Danny, would y'all want to hop back in at 4,300? No pressure. 4,300, 4,300. Ryan Pryor at $4,300. Thank you so much, Ryan. Very much appreciate that. We got a new bidder in the race here. 4,400 is what you got to be here. Look at everything. Click that button for view full details in the top right of your screen. That will show you the menu. What a cool night, guys. Truly, what an amazing night. Okay, here we go. Are we done? $4,400 once. $4,400 twice. Oh, Steven Trauber, thank you so much to the Trauber clan, $4,400. Everybody texting these people saying, hey, am I in your, am I in your top 10 or who, who gets to go, right? You got to buy it. Then you don't have to worry about it. I got $4,400 with the Trauber family. You're going to be $4,500. $4,500 once, $4,500 twice, $4,500 third, and final call. Are we done? Because here we go. And I have sold it at $4,400. Thank you so much, Stephen Trauber. Thank you, Ryan Pryor, Nancy Ames, Danny Ward, Amanda McMillan, the Goosens, and everybody that was in there. Thank you so much. What a cool opportunity. Thank you, everybody, for being here. The fun is not over. We've got lots more to do. I'm going to throw it back to our MC for the evening. Melissa, what else do you have in store for us right now? Thank you for being here, everybody. Win the auction item of your dreams. Don't despair because you still have time to be part and bid in our silent auction as well as our wine auction that will continue to go on throughout the evening. So go on ahead and bid it up. Now I want to bring you an inspirational story. This is going to touch your heart. Rodolfo Sandoval is not only a Vietnam veteran, but a Purple Heart recipient and a grandfather of five young girls who are so happy to have him in their lives. Here's Rodolfo's story. Rodolfo was really loved. His granddaughters think he hung the moon. His sons and his daughter-in-laws, they, they laugh at him sometimes because he has little quirky ways, but uh, they love every minute about it. I'm 74 years old. I'm a grandfather. I'm a father. I'm a veteran. I'm an activist. I'm a photographer. And I like to live life to the fullest. I'm a survivor of a double aneurysm that I didn't realize I had until it happened. Well, it was scary. We all were, were scared because he was kind of living on a time bomb. Aneurysms don't cause symptoms until they rupture. So people are diagnosed incidentally. They have a study done for another reason and by accident you find a large aneurysm or they present with symptoms or a rupture which is too late, like the horse is out of the barn. Late at night, I was laying in my bed, and all of a sudden, I got this sharp pain in my back. I sat up, and I was having a hard time catching my breath. I was life flighted from the emergency room to the medical center. Mr. Sandoval had a very large aneurysm from the chest all the way through the belly, and it involved all the arteries that provide blood supply to the critical organs in the belly. My first option was open heart where they would actually have to open me from chest to stern. I didn't like the percentages having to do with maybe paralysis, maybe kidney malfunctions. Thankfully, I met Dr. Ulrich. We were fortunate to be able to bring hope and an alternative to him in the midst of this pandemic that was minimally invasive and he was very successful. I met with him for 10 minutes, and during those 10 minutes, he convinced me. When I came out of that surgery, I opened my eyes, everything was working, I was looking, I was moving, I felt good. This man just had heart surgery just a few hours before this, and he was already, you know, FaceTiming and talking to people. Just looking at his pictures after the surgery with his five granddaughters, I mean, there, that's the best reward we could ever ask for. I have been able to do things with my grandkids that I wasn't able to do with my own kids. Now I'm able to get in there with them, I'm able to run with them, I'm able to get on the slides with them, I'm able to get on the trampoline. They have actually given me a new purpose for life and I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I think this is very important that you all understand that this mission is critical for all of us 
given how frequent cardiovascular problems are and how much work we still have to do to fully understand these diseases and be able to treat them with less risk of complications. The American Heart Association and groups like that are very important to Houston uh, because they not only do research, but they do education. I just can't, I can't find the words to express my gratitude. Uh, the only way I can do that is just live life to the fullest. I get emotional because if it wouldn't have been for American Heart Association and their dedication to finding solutions for problems like the ones I had, I wouldn't be here. All I got to say is thank you. Thank you to the uh, American Heart Association Thank you to my doctor, my family, my kids that have, been, have given me inspiration to not just give up. Life is good. You are so right, Mr. Sandoval. Life is good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with all of us. You know, you're not only an inspiration, but also a reminder for each of us to be grateful for that time that we have been given. Now is the time that normally when we're in a ballroom, this is when we ask everybody to raise their paddles. But tonight, you'll be raising your fingers and clicking on the screen, hitting the prompts on the screen to give the gift to the American Heart Association. Join us in the fight to help people like Rodolfo live longer and healthier lives. No better initiative than that, right? Let's get going, ladies and gentlemen. I know how, in, how generous this group is. Tonight is all about making an impact. Tonight we have a goal of raising $250,000 in our virtual ballroom. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Who will help us make our initial gift of $25,000 towards the mission of the American Heart Association. On your screen now, you should see that little button that you can press to help confirm your gift. As you have seen tonight, the funds raised are critical to making an impact right here in Houston at $25,000 in completely tax deductible donation. At $25,000, who wants to hop in right now at $25,000? Thank you so much for letting me ask that. Very much appreciate that. Let's keep on going here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Now, I told you that I've shared my, our goal with you, and I am so excited to announce that we have a, oh, look at that, Eb and Deb Kaler at $25,000. Thank you so much to Deb and Ed Kaler at 25 grand. Very much appreciate that, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, what a generous start. I'm so excited to tell you that our next opportunity, we have a 50 thousand dollar matching gift on this next opportunity from Joanne Hauk and Tim Singletary. If you know them, Tim is a heart survivor and Joanne have both been longtime volunteers of the American Heart Association. They have seen personally the impact that these funds raised tonight can have. We're looking for at least five people at the $10,000 level to, to make it, the five people to step up and give that $10,000 gift. Who's it going to be? You give that $10,000 and you're automatically doubled with that matching at $10,000. Just give it a tap right there. Teresa and Josie Evo, thank you so much. John Horton at $10,000. Thank you both to the Evos and the Horton family. Thank you at $10,000. Understand that your gift was just matched. So you gave 10 and it turns into 20 because of Joanne Hauk and Tim Singletary. Thank you so much to the Evos and the Horton at 10 grand. Anybody else at $10,000 right now, $10,000 to change lives, give people the opportunity to live longer and healthier lives that are survivors from this 
terrible heart disease. Who else? At $10,000 right now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. That button will remain right there for just a few more moments. Let's keep going. But before we do, I understand that Tim and Joanne, uh, you guys are hosting a watch party right now. Where are all those Tiger 21 guys? I hear about these Tiger 21. Don't, don't, don't leave the Tim and Joanne hanging here. Hop in. Krista and Ronnie Smith at $10,000. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here tonight and for being so generous. Understand that each of those were just double. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our next level, in honor of Mr. Sandoval and the time that he now has with his five granddaughters, I would like to invite you all to give $5,000 in honor of our survivor, Rodolfo Sandoval. Gifts tonight help to advance scientific research around heart disease and stroke. Who will give the gift of more time to our survivors? Oh, we just got a donation from David and Jennifer Balovic of $15,000. Thank you so much to the Balovic family. John Horton strikes again at $5,000. Thank you for giving at multiple levels from the Horton family. Who else at $5,000 right now has the opportunity to help others? Amanda McMillan at $5,000. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate that. Your generosity is incredible. Let's keep it rolling, ladies and gentlemen, because we have a $50,000 match that we've got cooking right now. Who else? At $5,000 right now, the opportunity to change life, enhance lineages, right? Now the Sandoval's granddaughters can learn from him and think about what that means 20, 30 years down the road because of funds tonight. Uh, Gordon and Carolyn Forbes at $5,000. Vicki and Anthony Estrera at $5,000. Thank you so much to each and every one of you tonight at $5,000. My goodness, you are such a generous crowd. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting. We really appreciate it. Anybody else at $5,000? We're going to keep on moving, ladies and gentlemen. That button will stay there for just a moment longer. Now, tonight, we are, would love to have 100% participation and hope that every one of you will consider giving a gift of some kind. How about $1,000 as our next opportunity to help us reach our goal of 250? Paula Lopez and Michael Dillard at $5,000. Thank you so much. Dan Milwitt at 1000 bucks. Thank you. And certainly, we do not mean to be cavalier about the money, but $1,000, uh, roughly 80 bucks a month over the next year? Give it to American Heart Association and change life. Anna Lucia Barbosa at 1000 Andrew Slintz at 1000 Nancy Ames and Danny Ward at 5000 My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. It keeps on coming. Aaron and Becky Yanez at $1,000. Thank you so much to all of your donations. You are generous beyond belief. Understand what this money is going to. Many of you have been touched by heart disease or you probably wouldn't be here. You know what this American Heart Association fights for every day. Lacey and Matt Goosen at $1,000. Thank you so much for popping in, donating, giving of your hard-earned money to the American Heart Association. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have an opportunity here that truly we don't have every day to support a cause like this. Who else? at $1,000 right now. Uh, Kathy and Marty Goosen, all righty, thank you, at 1,000. Lydia Davies, at 1,000, thank you so much, everybody. Oh, John and Vicki Crum, at $10,000, thank you so much. Krista and Ronnie Smith, at $1,000. Molly McBurney, at $5,000, my goodness. This ticker tape is awesome. Just seeing these names tick over here, this money. You are so generous. You are so kind. Thank you so much for giving of this. What an opportunity. How generous you have been. Now, as we continue, if we didn't talk about a number that made sense, maybe we started too low. But if we didn't talk about a number that made sense to you, your family, your business, your budget, we're going to put a button on the screen right now for any amount and truly understand that everything helps. It does not have to be $25,000 to make an impact. There are very few of us that can underwrite these budgets of American Heart Association, but together, nights like tonight are how we do it. So please pop on over there, click one of the preset amounts. We would love to have a 100% donation. I'm seeing them come in right now. Look at that. Stacy Christian, Mike Stancil, uh, Elizabeth Zayala, 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 Zayala,
apologize. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, very much. Denise Castillo Rhodes, JP Ramirez, Megan and Don Elsis, thank you everybody for donating right now. Truly appreciate it. Carol Vada, excuse me, thank you so much. We're gonna keep going with this, ladies and gentlemen. We have one more fundraising opportunity. I have that's been donated by Enterprise Rent Exotic Car Collection Rentals and Jim Crowder, a red, hot red, 2021 Jaguar F-Type convertible. You can have it for 24 hours. You and your sweetie can cruise around town, have a wonderful night out on the town knowing you supported the American Heart Association. But let me tell you how we're going to do this, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the person who makes the last $100 donation. So we're going to put $100 bucks up on the screen right now. And the person who makes the last $100 donation is going to get a 24-hour rental in a brand new 2021 Jaguar F-Type convertible. Thank you so much to Enterprise and Jim Crowder for putting this together. So who's it going to be? At $100 bucks will be our last hero standing. Jim Crowder himself pops in. Mel Edwards, Kristen, thank you so much at $100. It's just running in right now. Who's going to be the person that makes the last $100 donation? Now, I know everybody's saying, well, I don't want to donate now because I won't be the last one. You don't want to give to the American Heart Association? Who's it going to be that donates $100 right now? Here, we got to go, guys. If that's all it's going to be, we're going to go once, twice. Third and final call at 100. Oh, there they are. Look at all those donations right there. I know how you act. I know how you are. I know. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Mel, uh, Taylor Ireland, Andrew Slentz. Thank you, everybody, for these $100 donations. We are going to determine over the next few minutes who the last hero standing is. That's the person who makes that last $100 donation tonight. Uh, anonymous at 100. Teresa and Josie Evo. Thank you so much at 100 bucks. Right now, the Evos are going to spend 24 hours cruising around town. If you see in a few days or a week or so, you this really red, fast blob, it might be the Evos burning down the streets in their 2021 Jaguar F-Type. Anonymous pop back in. Oh, Kristen strikes again at $100. Thank you so much, Kristen. Very much appreciate that. Who's it going to be at a $100 donation right now to be that last hero standing tonight for the American Heart Association? All right, here we go again. Once, twice, third and final call. Oh, Andrew Slintz, Mel Edwards, Nancy Davidson, Bruce and Mary Jane Macklin, Jessica Flores, Lynn Averett. And if you're asking, well, how do you know? We have them all timestamped, guys. We know when they're coming in. Ed and Deb Kaler, thank you so much for that $100 donation. If you've got a C-note burning a hole in your pocket, now is the time to come loose with it, ladies and gentlemen. And you have an opportunity to be the last hero standing tonight for the American Heart Association and have a wonderful 24-hour rental. Go spend a wonderful night, staycation perhaps somewhere, or just go impress your friends and peel out in their driveway. Who else? At $100 right now. John and Vicki Crum at $100. Thank you again to Enterprise and Jim Crowder for putting this together. That 2021 Jaguar F-Type convertible, bright red, is gonna look great in your driveway. Who is it going to be? We got to go, guys. Yo-Yo's waiting on us. $100 once, $100 twice, $100 third and final call. Andrew Slintz, thank you so much. Ed and Deb Kaler, thank you. Russ Labraska, thank you, sir. It's great to see your name. Thank you so much for putting together these jaw-dropping wine packages. David and Jennifer Balovic at $100, thank you. John and Chris Hantick, thank you. Hantack, thank you so much a hundred dollars we got to keep going ladies and gentlemen you're so generous jenny and rob walters at a hundred bucks here we go i'm going to speed it up katherine higgins once twice third and final call and i have Teresa and jose or josie evo randy and sharon walker bruce and mary jane macklin thank you so much we'll be here all night Y'all got a bunch of $100 bills. David and Jennifer Balovic, thank you so much. To go, we're finding out who loves American Heart Association the most. Who's going to be the last hero standing here in just a few moments? We got to keep going with the program. We genuinely appreciate everybody being tonight and opening their hearts, opening their wallets, and opening their minds to letting us tell you what's going on here at the American Heart Association during COVID-19. John and Vicki Crum, we got to go, ladies and gentlemen, once, twice, third and Ryan Pryor. Thank you. 
We're going to be here all night. Teresa and Josie Evo, John and Vicki Crum, David and Jennifer Balovic, Krista and Ronnie Smith. Now, every time they donate, they're giving $100. Thank you so much. We have to go, ladies and gentlemen. You're so generous. We'd be here all night. We got to go. Once, twice, John and Vicki Crum. Third and final call. This is your last flurry. Donate, donate, donate. And I have... Stop. That's it. We're done. That's all we're going to do right there. Krista and Ronnie Smith, thank you so much. Got it in right there. Very much appreciate that. Krista and Ronnie Smith, very much appreciate what's going on right there. Everybody. Was there an anonymous one that came in? Yeah. Before we said stop? Before they turned it off? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, Krista and Ronnie, anonymous apparently came in before we turned the button off, okay? So anonymous, we know who you are on the back side, but we don't know who you are on the front side. So Chris and Ronnie Smith, thank you for your donation. You were the second to last hero standing tonight. I very much appreciate that. Anonymous did get you. If you want to audit the books, you can see the timestamps. They snuck in before we turned the button off. Very much appreciate my apologies for not seeing. They, they were just flashing so fast. I couldn't keep up. Thank you very much. You're so generous. Understand that the silent auction, all those wine packages, all the other cool stuff is still going on. That closes at 9 p.m., so a little bit less than an hour. Avail yourself of that. Get to bidding. Thank you so much for being here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You know not what you do. There's still time to give. Obviously, you can still donate. If you want to give another $100, you're welcome to do that. But coming up, we have a very, very special performance. I'm going to throw it back to you, Lisa and Jerry. Could you please do us the honor of introducing our special guest? Thank you for being here tonight. So generous. Thank you so much. Now it is our distinct privilege and pleasure to introduce an extraordinary individual and our friend, Yo-Yo Ma. His multifaceted career is a testament to his love of people and enduring belief in music's power to generate trust and understanding. A global icon for decades, he has received countless awards and performed for eight U.S. presidents. He has recorded over 100 albums and won 18 Grammys. Unbelievable. But Yo-Yo Ma has never been in it for the accolades. He considers himself to be a citizen musician and is always looking to help others. It's not surprising that Yo-Yo was named as United Nations Messenger of Peace, has received the National Medal of Arts, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and was named as one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People last year. You may also have seen him perform a beautiful rendition of my favorite song, Amazing Grace, during President Biden's inauguration just a few weeks ago. You know, Lisa and I first met Yo-Yo in 2012 when he performed in Houston for the 25th anniversary of the Manil Collection. In 2017, I was honored and privileged to spend three or four hours with Yo-Yo, flying him to Houston to perform with the Houston Symphony. I was so impressed with Yo-Yo's love of all people and that he truly cares about improving the lives of others. He is one of the kindest, most approachable and giving person that I know. Yo-Yo uses his God-given talent to bring comfort and hope to millions of people around the world. By the way, Songs of Comfort and Hope is Yo-Yo's latest album that was inspired by the COVID-19 lockdown. The album was released about two months ago and has already reached more than 18 million people. We are so blessed to have Yo-Yo performing and closing out our program this evening. He is a dear friend and truly a global musical treasure. Please welcome Yo-Yo Ma! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, heart of Houston. I'm Yo-Yo Ma, and thank you so much, Lisa and Jerry, for your lovely introduction. I'm so happy to be able to participate in a cause that you and so many other people tonight care so much about. I myself share that concern because recently, members of my family have also suffered from uh, uh, strokes and and i feel not only that this is such an important issue but also a deep personal connection to the work that the american heart association is doing for millions of families all across america you might ask what's the purpose of music in this well for me i think 
music participates in the all around wellness of human beings, because it actually acts as a lever uh, to take us from one state of mind, transitioning from one state of mind to another state of mind. All of music deals with this kind of equilibrium uh, that we seek. So I'm offering a little piece of music, uh, starting with um, simple gifts and to what to me is in many ways, the heart of classical music is uh, Dvorak's Going Home. You may know the New World Symphony. That is the famous theme in the New World Symphony that his student actually uh, turned it into a song going home. And that's what we all seek in terms of recovery, preventing always is that we can go home to our loved ones. And thanks to the heart of Houston, uh, that work will be easier for everyone. A number of years ago, I met a really wonderful fellow musician and who taught me so much about Texas fiddling, Mark O'Connor. And he wrote this piece, which I'd like to play for you tonight. Thank you. 
Wow. <laughs> Can you believe that? What an incredible performance. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Yo-Yo, for sharing your music with us. Uh, incredible. What a wonderful way to end the evening. And thank you to everyone who has supported the Heart Association tonight. Lisa and I pray for you and your families to be safe, stay healthy, and have an awesome year. We look forward to hopefully seeing all of you very soon. Thank you and good night. Good night. Good night.